hope this doesn't mean what I think it means because if it does Nintendo I would rethink this so this is what Nintendo had to say uh, in one of their latest financial results briefing um, so the title here in this article Nintendo president believes switch lifecycle won't follow the same course as companies past home consoles this could mean a lot of different things um, I just hope that what they're saying is not that they're going to stick with the current Switch for too long or that they're going to have a variety of different iterations of it like the Switch Lite but keep the hardware the same if you know what I mean or uh, what have you. Um, I don't know what else they can do because one of the biggest appeals of the Nintendo Switch is not just its portability. Keep that in mind. It's the fact that you can have Triple H current high quality games like The Witcher 3, like Skyrim, like uh, Dragon's Dogma, or uh, Doom, right? Uh, uh, and Doom Eternal, uh, if, I, if I heard it correctly. Games like that that you can have on other consoles, those, those third party games, is what's helping the Switch sell like, sell like hotcakes. So here, let's go, let's go to the Q&A. Here's what the question asks. What are your thoughts on the business cycle based on the trends for Nintendo Switch at the end of its third holiday season? Do you believe the Nintendo Switch life cycle will be different from past cycles? And if so, do you think the business can expand even after growth in unit hardware sales as, pl as plateaued somewhat? Or do you intend to prolong the life cycle by diversifying the family with more hardware variations like Nintendo Switch Lite? And Furukawa says, with Nintendo Switch about to begin its fourth year, the situation does feel a little different from the home consoles we've offered in the past. It, probably because the, the, the Switch is supposed to double for a home console and basically replace the 3DS, especially with, especially with the Nintendo Switch Lite. In addition to Nintendo Switch being a home console, you can take it on the go. We're also offering Nintendo Switch Lite as a dedicated handheld version and consumers can choose whichever best matches their lifestyle. In terms of the hardware, I think we will be able to consider a variety of ways to expand in the future. The software is no less important. As explained in the presentation, our focus now will be on Nintendo Switch platform, which is a growing installed base. By focusing our software development resources on Nintendo Switch, I believe its lifecycle will follow a course that is different from our previous Nintendo home consoles. Now. There's a multiple ways of interpreting it. I'm going to go uh, worst case scenario just so that we can understand why it would not be a good idea to go this route. Um, from what I'm understanding, it seems that he wants to keep the current Switch going. Um, a lot of industry analysts have predicted a Nintendo Switch Pro coming, but and they were right on the light uh, from Nintendo Switch Mini. But it seems that Nintendo just wants to focus on the current Switch and just focus on software and keep his life cycle going for a while. Now here's the issue, if they keep doing this, it's going to come to a point, especially when next gen is right around the corner, where the games from the third party are going to dry up, where they can't do their magic like they did with The Witcher 3 to make these newer games run on the Switch. Keep in mind, it's not just graphics that are improving with these newer games, it's also physics engine, the complexity in their programming and what they require, the different amount of resources and memory and this and that, which the Nintendo Switch currently will not be able to handle. In which case, Nintendo is going to have to come up with a newer version, or, or basically, if they don't come up, if, if they release something like 2021, 2022, it's basically a next-gen console at that point, it's not even a Nintendo Switch, it's, it's a new console, it's a next-gen console. Um, so I do hope Nintendo is planning. Maybe they had something planned and they changed their mind for whatever reason seeing the next-gen consoles uh, Maybe they want to delay a little bit longer Maybe they want their current install base to keep going because well they sold a lot more units than some other top selling consoles uh, ever right over 50 million units sold so that's another factor too uh, You know, and I'm sure they don't want to keep the current switch user base in the dust by releasing a new one Who knows maybe they can have like an upgrade trade-in type of system for that uh, I don't know but anyways um, yeah so that here's the news guys uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below what your thoughts are on what this could mean give me some insight uh, please like this video um, to help me with the YouTube algorithm uh, and please subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep up with my content uh, yeah thank you